Okay, go ahead. Let's hear your intro. Mm -hmm. And nothing. You don't have it. You don't have a new intro. There was no new intro planned. Let's see it. You do this all the time. Lying. Oh, actually, I was going to do this. Great. Do it. Let's see it. You don't even have to pull anything out. They're just words. You can just say them. I'm Anyways, sorry. we got do you a want lot me to, to no, no. Do you want me to do my new intro or not? Sure. And don't do that. Oh, you, you. It's gonna be racist. Don't do that. You did it's a one. Be, go ahead, do it. Watch you it. You did a one Mississippi. Go ahead. All right, ready? Go. And it's. Mm. Hello and welcome to the Adam Freeland Show. Hello and welcome. But I said in a somber tone. All right. No, no. Let me, can I do it? All right. Go ahead. Okay. Hello and welcome to the Adam Freeland Show. I just first and foremost want to recognize the life of the actor. We're going to talk about that Matthew later. Perry. No, we're going to talk about that later. That is a topic. That's not the intro. Hello and welcome to a very special episode of the Adam Friedland Show. This weekend, we lost actor Matthew Perry. Nick, he was one of your favorites. And I thought of you immediately. Yeah, he wasn't necessarily one of my favorites. It was just a movie idea I had. That he would be perfect in. Oh, know? I guess so. Nick wasn't that much of a fan, I suppose. Um, but I was. Were you? What's your favorite Matthew Perry movie? Um, I like The Whole Nine Yards. Uh huh. Yeah, it's really good. Um, Fools Rush In. That's a good one. Uh, Two to Tango. Two to Tango, very good. The Whole yeah. Ten Yards. Or was it The Whole Nine and a Half Yards? The Whole Ten Yards. I think Nine and a Half Yards is a different movie. What is that? There's the whole nine yards, and then there's a movie called Nine and a Half something. Nine and a Half. Yards. Oh, no, there's Eight and a Half, the Fellini. No, 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 hold on. Nine and a Half. Half, nine and a half inches. yards movie. Nine and a Half Weeks. Nine and a Half Weeks. With Catherine that's, Heigl. That's what I'm thinking of. Great actor, Catherine Heigl. Amazing yeah. actor. The Last Boy Scout, great movie. Damon Wayans, is mm -hmm. that right? That was a, that was a very. I love that. That's a Tony Scott movie. R.I.P. We also lost Tony Scott. A he also years ago. also killed himself. All right, so you weren't that big of a fan. Serving Sarah, I forgot about that one. Actually, I just watched. What that. is that about? I would just watched that recently, but I picked it up. It was on TV. What's so it about? Yes, it's Elizabeth Hurley, and he's like a process server, and he has to. Give her a fight. And he falls in love with her? Yeah. They're like handcuffed to each other for two hours. That oh. was a, that's a cool genre of movie that needs to come back, is two people handcuffed to each other. I like that, yeah. And they're like, listen, we got to figure out how to stop Israel. <laughs> <laughs> and we're going to have to work together one way or the other. Yeah, especially when it, they're two different people, you know? Yeah, a white, super, a white supremacist and a loud black bitch mm -hmm. get handcuffed together, and then they have to stop Zionist propaganda. Yeah, they realize <laughs> that they both don't like Israel. Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's just Rush Hour 4. <laughs> it's Chris Tucker <laughs> and Jackie Chan. Yeah. <laughs> you mean to tell me that it's all white folks living there? Um, yeah, that's a, that's like a, um, that was a, that was, there were a mm. lot of movies where it was two guys. Yeah, okay. Come. We have to do Belt and Road. <laughs> we have to do Belt and Road to Iran. <laughs> what the hell? So let's say fools the, rush in. Let's say the Israeli ambassador. Fools rush in. I didn't say it that way. I know, but you could. But you know who would have said it that way? Chandler Bing. Uh, no. Wait. Fools rush in. Do you see yourself as a Chandler Bing? Type? My my cousins in Israel used to say that to me all the time. Yeah. Adam, you're such a chandelier. The chandelier. Chandelier. Yeah. You know what I found out? My cousins aren't uh, going back to. There's, there, my two cousins of military age are not, are not going to fight. Um, so because the, of the Matthew Perry thing, the Matthew Perry thing, They're like, oh, we can't do it. We're too sad about Trendle. No, I'm just saying that in, in my family, the cowardice trumped the Zionism mm -hmm. and it made me proud. <laughs> that is good. No. Yeah. One, one's in Berlin and one's in Japan. There had to have been like an back. Adam Friedland Nazi, like a guy that was a Nazi in Germany that was just you. Mm, Rommel, probably. Probably, Rommel, probably no. the Desert Fox, the Desert Fox Rommel. Rommel